Update 2.1 has added a ton of immersive features and new content for us to partake in in Cyberpunk 2077. But my favorite piece of all this delicious patch notes was this one cheeky little line about halfway down. Nice. Let's go. Let me know what you think of update 2.1 in the comments down below. Now, what I'm talking about here about this cheeky little line is the Fiend X and Cognito Lattice. I'm probably saying them terribly wrong, but these new cyberware that were added, there were two pieces of new cyberware. Now, the Fiend X is a skeleton piece that is intelligence attuned and you get 250% RAM regen rate when available RAM is below seven. And the Cognito Lattice is an intercommentary system piece for intelligence attuned as well but this one you get 240% armor for this cyberware when available RAM is below 10. So both of these pieces really fit within a Netrunner build if you think about like my Lucy build which is actually the footage that you're seeing here is my Lucy build using both of these new cyberware pieces and you can see here if you look at like my armor and my actual regen rate for my RAM the difference is pretty staggering when this effect actually goes off when your RAM is really low and what's really valuable about both of these pieces in in is in both the skeleton and the intercommentary system there isn't really much for a net runner and now you've got these two new additions that can really help push your build that little bit further and one of the big criticisms of the really the net runner build is how the reliance on overclock with 2.0 was because you really had to rely on overclock which essentially turns your health bar into additional ram slots right because your regen rate was pretty low and with the rebalancing of the quick hacks and how much you actually need in order to use them regularly you had to rely on that a little bit too much in my opinion and now with this extra regen rate from phoenix like it makes such a difference it's really valuable what's also huge about this change that went a little bit under the radar was they decreased cyberware capacity costs for a bunch of cyberware like a huge amount that makes such a difference in terms of how much cyberware you can actually equip so now it's very easy in a cyberware build to actually fill out every single slot without like really focusing on trying to remove stuff and add stuff and etc you can become that massive cyberware freak without really having to invest too much into it because of the reduction of the cyberware cost if you want to build a build for this new cyberware then i would really be looking at the lucy build that i put out which definitely would be the best build so i'll link that video here for you guys if you want to go and watch that but essentially that build is a net runner build that's focused on using net running plus the mono wire and the benefits you get from the mono wire in 2.0 how you can add a quick hack into that and also be able to like buff your overall regen because of the mono wire when you hit enemies with that and finishes and how that sort of interlaces with the overall combat it's a really quality build and this new software really just makes it sing in such a great way and you can obviously use it with smart weapons like i am in this footage as well like this is a slight variation where i'm using a bit more range for smart weapons rather than the melee for the mono wire like the lucy variant but both work absolutely perfectly and are well worth doing if you wanted to give a crack with the new cyberware update 2.1 wasn't even really about this cyberware this was just a footnote in an otherwise amazing patch one of the best things that i think like huge buff to overall just fun in the game like straight up is the radio port so now you can listen to the radio literally any time throughout the game love love this change and you can change the volume as well in the radio section so if you want it a little louder or quieter depending on where you are in the game as well and i, I just i love the radio and the music in cyberpunk in the world so it's really good that they've added this feature in one of the very first cyberpunk trailers we saw the metro and the player riding the metro and now with 2.1 we can actually ride the metro so now there's you can use it as a fast travel point or you can actually just ride the metro and like look out see some scenic views and see the people on the train johnny will like sit around sometimes as well I actually found this in one of the times when i was getting footage for this video johnny's like sitting there real sad and there's these like paper pigeons around him weird like but but these are like the secrets that they seemingly have added with the metro system as there's been plenty of little like videos i've seen on the reddit and stuff of like different things that people have found and i think that the more people ride the metro in different lines and the more we spend on there there's going to be interesting secrets that we definitely find throughout this so let me know any interesting things you have found about the metro in the comments as well one of the biggest immersion changes is that now you can actually hang out with your romantic partner which didn't make a whole lot of sense before after you completed like your romantic quests you just kind of were finished with them you would get the occasional text and that was about it but now you can actually hang out with them so if you boot up a save with update 2.0 you'll actually have a message from your romantic partner asking if you want to hang out but if you are playing the game separately you'll be able to do this in other ways as well and essentially you can invite them to any apartment that you own and go and hang out with them there there is a ton of different interactions here as well right you'll probably see them like sitting on the couch or just doing some sort of activity when you're right 
arrive and depending on the apartment and what the activities are in that apartment they'll follow you around and interact with objects look out the window you can do some stuff in the shower if you want or any sort of other things right like there's plenty of fun that you can do with them here it's actually really immersive i think on the stuff that's been added i wonder if they've added new voice lines too it seems like they have for these partners but like i don't rightly know i would be interested to know if anyone actually knows that for sure but it's a really solid immersion fix so you can spend more time with these characters that are like the best part of cyberpunk really is the actual core characters in the game bikes no longer feel like trucks when you drive them which is another change as well so now with bikes you can actually maneuver and get off the ground a little bit so you can lean as well by holding left shift or left control control on keyboard or the left stick on the gamepad you can lean to the left or the right you can lean back to do a bit of a wheelie if you get some air going you can do a little bit of a spin in the air there's plenty of things that you can do as you sort of move yourself around and I actually noticed you can sort of grind around corners now properly with the bike like if you lean in the right direction you sort of flip that around the corner you just ignore me running into stuff here but you can sort of get that right turns which is really quite nice and the bikes feel really really good they also added five new bikes that are all available through the auto fixer terminal if you want to buy those and while you are there in the auto fixer terminal as well if you drop all the way down to the other section you can see the new porsche that is there this porsche looks sick i love the look of this car like the yellow back and the yellow like wheel rims really really nice car in order to get this you just need to purchase it from the auto fixer terminal in the other section it'll actually start a little side quest which is kind of cute so i won't really spoil what happens there but you do a little side quest at the end you get the car as you you know you did pay for it and it's a really nice vehicle so highly recommend doing that if you've got the funds to get and if you want to take that car into car races you now can with the new repeatable car races so essentially if you want to unlock these which is i think the main thing that people and including myself struggled with is how to unlock these you need to wait a certain period of time for jim jerry to message you after they've messaged you they'll be like hey there's new races you can go and do them at the locations of where all the original races were there's now a new icon on the map and if you go there you'll immediately just start a quest to like start the race what's interesting here as well is that johnny will join you on these races and talk to you during them and and I don't think these are new voice lines. They seem like old voice lines from Keanu Reeves, but it's still fun to have that sort of interaction with him. What makes these races just so much better than launch and just in general that now that you can repeat them is that you've got all that vehicle and car combat now. So, you know, you can use the Sandeva stand while you're driving. You know, you've got vehicles that have guns on them so you can blow up all of your, you know, competitors so you have no way of losing, right? Like it's, it's fun. Like it's just straight fun. And that's the main thing that you can ask for for Cyberpunk, right? It's just fun content to do and repeatable content right you can go and do these and i did the city center race here and it was 2000 eddies to enter and i won 10,000 for coming first so there's definitely some eddies to be made there if you want to win some races but i'll link the patch notes in the comments down below if you guys want to see the full list of patch notes for cyberpunk as there are some other things i haven't touched on like gangs will now chase you at the end of missions sometimes and a few other little things but really this patch is filled with like immersion stuff and just like little tweaks and things that really make it feel like a complete game i honestly think like it's it really is now the game that i think we all thought it was going to be with all of the changes we've had through you know since launch with update 2.0 since then and phantom liberty and now 2.1 like you know credit to cdpr and the stuff they've done with this game like it's it's definitely one of the best games on the market nowadays and i think i'm going to do a, a new review of this complete package now that it is finished i think so let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comments down below and what you think of update 2.1 thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day